Hey there everybody, I am Joe Marine, and welcome to the Mobile Cup of Joe YouTube channel. Now in this video today, I've got a video that I know a few of you will be interested in, and that is the fact that I am now running Android 5.0 Lollipop on my OnePlus One. Now I do want to point out before we get too far into this video that this is a, a very an alpha stage of a build of Lollipop. It's not even an official version or a ROM for the OnePlus One. Essentially it's a hacked version of a very early of CyanogenMod. mod. Um, surprisingly though it is really stable but I do want to give you a fair warning that um, this is not an official ROM for the One. But with that out of the way we're going to be taking a very first look at the OnePlus One with Android 5.0 Lollipop. You're going to get my very first initial, initial impressions and we're just going to go ahead and see what Lollipop looks like here on the OnePlus One. But before we go any further, please go ahead and grab that coffee cup, fill it up, bring it over, and sit on down. Take a swig from your mobile cup of Joe. Alright guys, so here we go with my first kind of quick look at Android Lollipop here on the OnePlus One. Now, I do want to mention again really quick that this is not an over the year update you can get for the One if you're still rocking CyanogenMod 11S, and this is not even an official ROM you can flash onto your device. Uh, you can flash it onto your device, but it is an unofficial ROM, um, thanks to someone awesome over on the XDA developer forums. Link in the description below if you want to check it out, but just do keep in mind this is still an alpha build of Android Lollipop. But without further ado, you know, let's go ahead and get in the phone because I know that uh, you really don't care about all the specifics for it. You just want to see some Lollipop loving on here. So go ahead and actually turn down the brightness real quick and you can kind of get a quick preview of some of the beautiful animations that are present here in Lollipop. But I'm going to go ahead and hop into our settings really quick just so we can confirm um, exactly that we are running Lollipop here on the OnePlus One. You can just see too, the scrolling animations and everything is absolutely beautiful. If you swipe down there as I move my finger, or kind of along the phone, how the animation does change. Um, just these animations all throughout the uh, this version of Android are just f very, very beautiful. And I actually haven't uh, barely had this on my phone for 10 minutes, so this is a very first impressions. So I'm kind of learning it with you here as we go along. But you do see right there we have got Android 5.0 right there go ahead and double tap on that a few times so we can get that infamous android easter egg right there we've got lollipop and see if we can hop into that uh flappy bird game really quick and there we go we have got the <laughs> android going at zero see if we can maybe get one that's the goal here one more try one more try right here Trying to get, okay, we're going to go and say no to that. Um, but you can see this is Lollipop, and this is very awesome having it here on the OnePlus One. Go ahead and hop into the lock screen to kind of show you off one of the first additions to the new OS. You can see that the lock screen has completely changed from how we had it in all prior versions of Android. We now have the time here very big and bold. Um, at the top we've got some information. I do have my phone on Cricut, so we get the kind of service provider text right there. And then we have things for GPS, uh, the phone's on vibrate. Go ahead and turn it back on. Wi-Fi, our signal status indicator, battery life percentage, and our icon for the profile. But for some reason, my Google profile picture is not showing up right now. And you can see here, um, below that, on the main part of the lock screen, we do have the time, big and bold. And then I do have some notifications right here. So say that I want to uh, kind of expand these, all I have to do is swipe down on the notification I want to see more of. So right there you saw that it expanded my Gmail notifications right there and say I want to expand this one uh, for my friend who just texted me. Actually learning things different actually if I'm expanded here and I swipe down again we get more information for kind of our quick settings how they're redesigned with our Wi-Fi Bluetooth brightness and all that jazz. So it's actually something uh, like I said learning again right there and you can swipe up once again to get back to your home screen. And then if you want to say, for example, open up a notification from the lock screen, just go ahead and tap on it twice and it'll go to the home screen and then boot you into uh, said notification. Now also from the lock screen, if you want to get rid of a notification right from here, all you have to do is swipe it away and it's gone right there. And you can see that we can just swipe up to get to the home screen and it takes us back to the Play Store or we can swipe to the right for our phone dialer 
or swipe to the left to open up the camera. Now going to the home screen, um, out of the box you are running Launcher 3, so if you go actually to the Google Play Store you can go ahead and download um, the Google Now Launcher, which is what I went ahead and did. And when you do that it means you've got the uh, new updated version of Google Now here on the OnePlus One. And all you have to do is, like I said, download it from the Play Store and it will automatically give you the uh, Lollipop version of Google Search and of um, Google Now Launcher. And you can see Google Now is redesigned for Lollipop. It's not too different um, from what we saw in the uh, build of Google Now for KitKat. But there is some more material loving going along here. You can see uh, just kind of those animations and stuff. Stuff that was kind of first introduced in the old version of Google Now, but more def redefined here and just looks a lot better and has got the official lollipop treatment. Now if we zoom out and we actually swipe over again, we've got our hamburger menu uh, for all of our things so we can customize reminder settings with our uh, Google profile picture and our cover photo from Google Plus right there. And then we still have the uh, Google Now um, OK Google support. You can see right there it popped up with a nice beautiful animation for Android Lollipop. So for example, if I say, okay Google, how's the weather? And see it's very fast and snappy. And I'd actually say it's a bit faster than uh, we, what we had with Google now on KitKat. So go ahead and try uh, one more phrase right here. Okay Google, open Play Store. And that's an instant opening of an app right there. That's very impressive. Um, so you do have faster actions with the Google Now Launcher here with your uh, Google searches. If we go ahead and press on the application drawer, you can see we've got a brand new animation and layout for our applications here. And you can go home and that's there again. And just like I said, the material design is something that's really impressive. And you can talk about it all day and watch videos about it, but you really don't understand uh, really how big of a change this is for Android until you do get your hands on it. Now out of the box with this ROM is pretty st basic stuff. You've got the Apollo Music Player for CyanogenMod, the stock browser, uh, calculator, calendar, dev tools, your clock, camera, pretty much just all of your essential applications. Uh, be sure that you do have to flash the Google apps on here as well. If you guys want a tutorial video on how to do this, let me know in the comments and I will think about doing that um, in the near future. So let's go ahead and look at our notification panel really quick for another uh, new new. Uh, feature here with Lollipop. Uh, it would be nice if I could talk today, but it is the same kind of thing with passive versions of Android. You just swipe down once. Um, for your notifications, we can see they're a bit different. Instead of the drawer coming all the way down to the bottom of the screen, it stops where the notifications stop. And say I want to get my uh, quick settings, all I have to do is swipe down one more time, and then I've got my brightness, slider, uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and all those standard settings. What's cool though is you actually have options for casting our screen right here. Oh, and there goes the GPS. Uh, to cast our screen and uh, we'll go ahead and agree to that. But we have casting our screen and we also have a uh, flashlight toggle here. So if I go ahead and tap that you can see that the flashlight does show up and I apologize for blinding you right there. But it is cool to kind of see Android start to get some of the features we've seen from numerous ROMs in the past. Now if you want to access your quick settings uh, instantly you can use the same two finger gesture just swipe down with two fingers and it'll take you right to that. But when you are here um, for your settings in the notification panel, you have got the time, date, uh, indicators for your Wi-Fi profile photo, and then your notifications right here. You can expand or kind of close up your notifications with that two finger gesture. So I can expand this uh, Gmail thing, or I can swipe it back up. And if I want to uh, get rid of a notification, all I have to do is swipe it away once again. So it's still the uh, kind of same core functions of past versions of Android, but it just looks a lot prettier here in Lollipop. We'll go ahead and hop into the calculator. This is one of the apps that has some more material design love. We'll just do a random calculation right here. And you can see just the animations are everywhere here with Lollipop. And you can see too the phone is running incredibly fast. Now I'm not to say that the OnePlus One is any slouch at all when it comes to performance, but I have noticed this is the best ROM I have ever run on the phone. This is probably the best the phone has ever performed, and that's especially impressive considering this is still a ROM in the alpha stages. We can also go ahead and hop into the dialer application. We've got the new um, dialer here for Lollipop. We can tap our uh, keypad, I think that's what it's called, your keypad right there. Nice animations all around. Swipe to our recents, contacts, all that fun stuff right there. 
and uh, pretty much all the other applications are what you would expect but they do have some material updates now I will say that things such as Apollo as you can see right here as well as your DSP manager for your audio settings these are from older versions of CyanogenMod and are kind of laggy um, that's just one thing I do want to point out since this is kind of a kind of a hacked build of CyanogenMod with Android Lollipop and uh, kind of going through the phone again you can see it's performing nicely if we hop into our settings real quick you can see that these are completely redesigned as well for the new version of Android um, what's really nice too is that the battery section has been redesigned as well giving you a much more detailed look at kind of how um, the phone is performing it shows you uh, use since uh, your last full charge and I believe there's also some more indications of um, approximately six hours left right here and just a lot more features that you do have here there's a battery saver mode we can go ahead and choose that and this will uh, the new battery saver mode here and this is with the uh, I forget the name of the project but the same uh, team that worked on project butter they developed a new kind of software edition for Android Lollipop that is going to drastically increase your battery life. So that's something that's uh, yet to be seen since I just put this on the OnePlus One. But there's just kind of a quick look at what to expect with Android Lollipop. Um, again, this is running on the OnePlus One with an unofficial build. If you guys would like a tutorial of how to get this on your device or on your OnePlus One, let me know in the comments below, and I'll try to get that up for you. Although I know this isn't the prettiest video I've ever done, but I just wanted to get this out there just to show you guys that Lollipop is technically kind of available for the OnePlus One, just kind of how it runs to get a look at how the latest and greatest version of Android will run on your device. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to go ahead and circle me on Google Plus and the YouTube channel as well. Links in the description below for that. And at the outro of this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, all that jazz. I am Joe Marin from Mobile Cup of Joe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.